What's up? How y'all doing tonight? Hey, the library part of the show is over. If y'all motherfuckers don't wake up, this mic is wireless. I'll come sit at everybody's table and roast you into hatred. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, but before I get started, can I get a round of applause for the Lord? For getting us, I just threatened to roast him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Round of applause for our troops, too. God bless our troops. I'm going to cheat a little bit and try some new shit. Is that all right with y'all? So first thing I want to do is give an extra round of applause to Angel. She did her thing. That's the best I've seen Angel doing. A good job. She, and she didn't even know she was performing. And then, Larry, you did your thing. Y'all didn't know. Has, have y'all ever seen a blind comic before? <laughs> like, it's hard to use the word seen in his name, but I feel like an asshole when I do it. But y'all get it, right? A seen, a blind. <laughs> anyway, so I got some good news, y'all. Um, I got picked up by another talent agency, so I thank Woo! the Lord for that. So I'll be going to Florida soon to do a photo shoot on the beach. I believe I'm going to be the part playing the whale. Uh, I ain't sure. <laughs> but, uh, but this officially makes me a six-figure nigga now. Can I get a round of applause? It's officially, you know what I mean? So now the first five figures is zeros. But that six-figure, I'm killing it, though, nigga. Just, you know what I mean? That nine is balling, bitch. I got extra cheese on everything. I am the man at Walmart. Fuck with y'all, son. <laughs> uh, my agent said she submitted me to use my voice uh, for a superhero. A lot of y'all don't know I've done some voiceover acting. James Madison University, I got a contract to do some voiceover acting, so I'm going to be the voice of uh, in a Mr. Clean commercial, some other shit. So... <laughs> I'm gonna say it back here, they don't give a fuck, they don't clap for shit. So look, I'm gonna be the voice of, uh... Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting eight dollars for this show. Can y'all fuck around and act like y'all wanna be in this motherfucker with me? So she said she was submitting me to be an action figure. <laughs> uh, it turns out it's called Section 8 Action Figures. <laughs> And my role is voucher man. Uh, my role come with the, the bills already in the kids' names. Two red fagos and a hot pickle, nigga. That's my... Uh, <laughs> that's my shit. So, real talk. So I got to go sign these papers. And she said my first gig, they got a yacht company. They said they going to dress my ass up like James Earl Jones and shit. And an ascot and a captain's hat and shit. Standing on the yacht. So I, look, I said, look, man, I got a lot of friends as comedians. They're going to roast the shit out of my ass. They see me over here with an ascot and shit. She said, let them roast you. You'll be hanging out on a yacht making 10 grand a day. I said, shit, for 10 grand a day, I'll roast myself, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> for 10 Gs, I'll roast Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, look, God, I know you're doing this whole water to wine thing, but I'm a beer dude. Like, you know, this, you're talking about, you know, feeding everybody with the fish and the loaves of bread, but my nigga got a seafood allergy. What are we going to do? <laughs> that joke went over that side of the room. This joke went over their head. They're like, I'm not fucking with him. It's too close to Sunday. That's a joke in there. Y'all get that on the way home. See, Jesus parted the water in here. Fit my nigga. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. So, uh, I got a question, and this is just something I ain't trying to be an asshole, but it's 2024, right? How the hell do we get new crackheads? <laughs> y'all didn't get the memo in the 80s, nigga? Like, y'all just, like, we still, it's 2024, we got niggas still doing new crack and shit? Like, I'm just saying, like, I got a crackhead in my family, I ain't gonna say my cousin David's name. Are we recording this? Um... <laughs> <laughs> they tried to arrest this nigga one time at a party and he fought the shit out of them. He took like four cops to subdue his ass, right? When they finally figured out how to subdue him, let me tell you how they did it. They all got up off of him trying to fight him and guess what they did? They went over to the squad car, opened up the back door and sprinkled some crack on the back seat. That nigga skipped to the right. <laughs> he shut the door and didn't want to share with nobody. That nigga put his seatbelt on. He was ready to go. I got a new theory, too. It's my theory why crackheads be toothless. Y'all ready? Because teeth look like crack. I think they smoke them motherfuckers. It's just... 
Till somebody show me different, I'll believe fuck what y'all say. It's some things I believe, goddammit. Like, I believe Wendy Williams and Forrest Whitaker is the same motherfucker. Till I see them in the same place together, goddammit. God, fuck y'all. When Forrest got his eye fixed, Wendy got a show. Put two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My boy Larry mentioned about not being a Trump fan. Y'all think Kamala gonna do it? Y'all think we gonna have our first black female president? I'm gonna say this. Uh, she kinda ain't got no choice, goddamn, because if not, this is gonna be anarchy in the streets. Y'all seen them Purge movies, nigga. Y'all better get the fuck. And white boys acting a fool with January 6th. What the fuck you think you gonna do when they put this motherfucker back in office? Huh? Shit. Yeah. Fuck that. I'll move back home with my mama first, goddammit. That's that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I just did a show in Haramayan, Tennessee. And I gotta tell you, yeah, that's the same thing I said. The check cleared, so I don't give a fuck what it's right. <laughs> the check cleared. But it's the first time that I had, well, not the first time, I was blessed, where I had 12 people who waited for me after the show wanted to take pictures and that type of shit. At the end of the line, there was a very, very, very large lady. <laughs> like, shit, large, like, <laughs> <clears throat> she walked up to me and she said, I want to let you know I've always wanted a black man. I ain't know what to say to that, so I acted like that didn't happen. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, shit. So she said, I've always wanted a black man. It won't be me. It's just less. <laughs> she was like, when I hugged you, it made me pee just a little bit. <laughs> I swear I wish some of this was a joke. All of this is true shit. <laughs> And then she tipped me $40, smacked me on the ass, and skipped off. <laughs> so if anybody got $40 burning the hole in their pocket, just... <sighs> Oh, shit. But when the show was over, I ain't had nothing else to do, so I went to the bowling alley, right? And in the bar, on the other side of the bar, they were talking about some of the election results. And white people don't take this personal. But when there's a lot of white people around and they don't think no niggas around, oh, y'all be some bold motherfuckers when... I'm sitting on the other side hearing this real racist dude talking all this shit like, ain't no way in fuck I'm voting for a president, cam, cam. God damn it. If we want a new goddamn nigger president, I say let's vote LeBron James in office, god damn it. I swear I wish this was a joke. Then he said, <laughs> he said, ain't no way in hell he's a human. For any nigger to be able to jump that high, he's gotta be a fucking monkey. He's jumping on his goddamn tail. <laughs> I said, shit. Hold on, this is where it gets bad. The dude sitting next to him was like, hey, damn, Pastor, you mad today, ain't you? <laughs> Ask my nigga. I heard that about 9.30, 9.45. I was on I-75 about that whole city. I'm cool. I'd rather die on the side of the road driving sleep. <laughs> this shit is crazy. The thing I like about Kamala, this is the first PILF, the first president. Of... <laughs> Just about every heterosexual man should be agreeing with me on that one since I'm just saying. I mean, nigga, she, she I ain't mad at her, nigga. She bad. We could have did worse, nigga. You could have had my, uh, just, we could have had Stacey Abrams, nigga. You seen her? Sorry, just, shit. She played middle linebacker for the Chiefs on off weeks, nigga. Don't play. Just, just fuck is you talking about? <laughs> this is the one thing, though, that was funny. The dude was saying, one of the things he said is, he said, I think these niggas deserve a tax break. <laughs> he said, they're taking all the fat white chicks off her hands. We ought to give them some fucking incentive. <laughs> I was weak as hell. <laughs> he said, if you don't believe me, wait till February, go to the mall and go to Foot Locker. You'll see a fucking line of strollers and beige babies and white girls buying shoes they can't buy. <laughs> hey, man, I got the fuck up out of there, y'all. Just... I'm gone, dog. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. So I'm I'm a uh, I'm partial to the full figure ladies. Full figure ladies, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> now these lights in my face, so I see a bunch of big silhouettes in this motherfucker. So we all <laughs> full figure ladies, give yourselves a round of applause. Don't make me come the fuck down. <laughs> 
you say four figure spirit, Diamond, I done had burritos bigger than you, Lil Moss. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond still get kids meals. Get the fuck out of here. She be in this. Be sharing a boost receipt and shit. Get out of here. She said full figure spirit. And shit. Until you done ate a whole rotisserie chicken while you standing out of sink, nigga, you don't know what fat is, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My white people, I appreciate y'all coming. Y'all, did y'all know y'all was coming to this or was it some other shit they tricked you? I just wanted to double check. <laughs> So white people, let me give y'all some advice for your melanated friends. <laughs> if you ever go out on a couple's date with a black couple, after y'all go to dinner, y'all decide y'all wanna have something to do, don't take your black friends to an escape room. <laughs> it's kind of slavery-esque, okay? Especially if you pick the cargo ship one, all right? Just, our last encounter with y'all on boats didn't end well, my nigga, just, all right. Just. <laughs> See, look, are you mad at me? You staring through my soul, you all right? You good? What's your name? Tanisha, nice to meet you, Tanisha. My name is Hayward. How are you tonight, Tanisha? You having a good time? It's good, since we ain't giving no refunds. That works out. I'm an asshole, why did you even answer my question? Oh, well, that works out great. You want my, you want to give me back? Shit, I, I do this for a living. Like, I got five one-liners that'll make you want to fight me in the parking line, goddammit. <laughs> I'm, uh, well, shit, cool, and I can press charges, so I don't... <laughs> you do you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't let me stop you and shit. I like a girl with attitude, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad. <laughs> this shit is crazy. But yeah, I'm partial to a full-figure woman. To me, you ain't big enough if you ain't got to move your titties out the way to get in your pockets. <laughs> If your titties can't sit on your shit like a fanny pack, my nigga, that's, that's... The titties should act like a coochie garage is what I'm saying. If I'm down here, I should be able to get to the coochie and the titty at the same. Don't... <laughs> the white lady staring at me like, Isn't he on probation? I think I locked him up before. <laughs> Not probation, but if you from child support, my name is Augustus Jenkins Ramirez Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey. I don't know that little nigga. He just looked like me and got my name. Fuck y'all. Just... <laughs> and got my name. Ain't that a bitch? Uh. Ladies, I got a question, man. Y'all be on some bullshit. I'm about to tell y'all something that really happened to me. Then I'm going to shut up and let y'all get to a real comedian. Ladies, if you know you finna kick it with your dude tonight, don't get too drunk to do this shit. I had a situation where me and this chick, we go to the motherfucking hotel. She lay on the bed. I'm like, hey, boo, let's try to do our thing. She just pulled her panties to the side, like, go on and do it. I said, I ain't come here to fuck a starfish. What the fuck is going on here? She's, she's, she's like, uh, what you want me to do? I brought the pussy. Well, who the fuck else is supposed to bring the pussy? If I can bring the pussy, bitch, what I need you, is there a pussy store that I missed on the way? Is it a drive through Who else was supposed to have the goddamn pussy? Mad than a motherfucker. <laughs> Fucked her up. I got my, my, I got together and drove my fat ass back to Cincinnati, Ohio. I ain't give a shit. <laughs> I was already up there. I didn't give a fuck. No, I'm not traveling. If it's more than two exits, we jacking off on Skype, boo. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. Not going the fuck down. Since they raised gas prices, I'm a two exit nigga. That's, <laughs> I'm in cold rain. You got like either Springdale, maybe Fourth Ward, maybe little. <laughs> Nigga, beyond that, we dapping up, just, or you chipping in, nigga, it's one of the, that's cool, you know. I like the fact, I like when white people feel like they can join in the show, like, this is, this is good. Where, where y'all from? Y'all from this part of town? Y'all? East side. East side? I was just wondering, because, you know, y'all both got on so many patterns, I'm getting a seizure looking at your shirt. <laughs> God damn it. My bad, I'm just, I know my fat ass got on the biggest pattern up here. I said that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know I look like a country and western picnic table and shit up this motherfucker. I don't... <laughs> my sister over here in the orange looking all good. She about to just start sprouting new citrus in this motherfucker. She just <laughs> springy likey and shitty. All right, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here.
Yeah, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Partially because I gotta pee. <laughs> Let me say this. Um, I will be back. Let me say something real quick. I'll be back October 25th for those of y'all who've never been here. Um, I do have a comedy special on Amazon Prime called I Ain't No Joke. And I have a... Thank you, boo. You, you, you other artists, y'all know how hard that shit. They don't give a fuck. She like, nigga, you saying about my citrus. Fuck your little Prime. Fuck your little Amazon, fat boy. <laughs> Did I mention Amazon Pay? Okay. My nigga, okay. But anyway, I'll be filming some more footage for the next comedy special uh, October 25th uh, when we come back. So I'd appreciate y'all coming back to join us then. Uh, beyond that, if I don't see you again, I need one favor from all of you. Get your ass off the couch and go vote. Get your ass off the couch and go vote. <laughs> find you a goddamn babysitter, uh, deal with your baby daddy, whatever the fuck it take. But this right here, hey, fuck you, I'm a felon too, I can vote again. <laughs> I'm about to apply for my gun rights, but they don't get back to me when I'm a goddamn it apply. They, sh they ain't be like, sir, your rap sheet got pages on this motherfucker, just we scrolling. Wasn't always a comedian is all I'm saying. So. But uh, I'll be back then. My goal is to release another comedy special and comedy album at the beginning of 2025. So. Hopefully, y'all be a part of that experience. With that being said, you can follow me on any app that's got calories. And, and send some love to my dude, Butch, to Blue Mama Maria, and everybody that's doing their thing. One love. Appreciate y'all.